say, uh, would you like to grab a coffee or yeah. would you like to grab a beer, anything like that. So yes, it's up for grabs. Okay. And old as the hills means really very old. Hi, Hi Shahid. How are you Good today? Evening. <laughs> Good evening to you. And how, you? how was I'm fine, pretty good. How was your day today? Not bad. Mm -hmm. So nothing interesting happened? Uh, yeah, it did happen anything interesting, but it was exhausting. Oh, it... <laughs> okay, yes. The day will end soon and you can relax. Yeah, so uh, for the classes, you're, you're staying up late or what is it? Do you wrap up usually? If you don't have clapping go sessions, do you wrap up early for the day? No, not before 12. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, so did you get so a chance to... Get... Evening only, I get time to read something or do something. So I'm up. Okay, nice. Yes. Yeah, as long as you're liking it, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so did you get a chance to look at today's topic? Just before five <coughs> minutes <Sorry>. ago. <laughs> uh -huh. Just before five minutes ago. Just five minutes ago. Okay, yes. So yes, university. It's about university. And uh, before that, there are two idioms today. Okay, up for grabs. Okay, this is up for grabs. Anyone wants it? Up for grabs, basically, available for anyone. So grabbing something is taking something. Right? Even like between friends, you can say, would you like to grab a coffee? Or yeah. would you like to grab a beer? Anything like that. So yes. So up for grabs, okay? And old as the hills means really very old, ancient. Old person. Old person. It, you can, I think you can actually use it for anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, basically a person. But yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if you can use it for uh, a thing, old as okay. the hills. Because basically it means anything that is old. Yes. Okay. It's very old. The family is as old as the hills over here, okay? So, yes, you can use it for anything or any point, any statement or a, a proverb. This proverb is as old as the hills. means it is a very okay. old proverb. You can use it. Yes, I just checked it online also. Okay, so coming to university. So, it's a place where people study for an undergraduate or a postgraduate degree, right? And then they uh, get a degree in hand, right? So do you think it or university education is necessary or it's fine if I you think, don't have a university? I think, uh, yes, it's necessary. But sometimes I have seen that uh, people who are in show business, singers, actors, they haven't completed the education, but still they are on a very good position. So maybe sometimes it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Truth. And that is why we also... have a very uh, good skill to survive. Yeah. Yes. It depends if you if you're going to use what you learn at the university for making your earning, for doing a job, or using it in any way, even your own business. But if your talents are somewhere else, there is no value. There's no point in doing going to college. Okay. That is how it is. Yes. So at one point, I also thought it was the most important part of someone's life. If someone does not have a university degree, it means that uh, person is not worth it. Right. You know. I think it changes the way a person thinks. The cha it changes the way we behave, talk, uh, how we so socialize. How we interact, uh, it manners, it etiquette, so many things uh, it changes. So I think if it's not necessary for your mm, profession, but still a basic, it's a basic thing. Everyone should get it. Okay, so. fine. <laughs> you think right? Yeah, I used to think it it was important at one point, but today, if you ask me, is a university degree important? I would say no, it is not important because. There are other, you rather interact with others and learn. Maybe there are different ways. But yes, it is very personal. Right. Yeah. Means I'm like, means like pros and pros and cons. Like uh, it's okay if you don't have, but if you have, it's better. It's better. Right. Right. Of course. Because when we look for a life partner, when we look for anything for qualifications, 
for any other reason also we always see okay how much is that person how much has that person studied right yeah but more importantly the other question should be is he standing you know does he he or she is are they financially capable how yes. are they behaving with others when when right. we go out to search a groomer bride first thing we uh, check earning and second thing education right but in a way actually if you look at that that has got the least to, to do with living with someone right yeah. it's about other things which are more important but we look at the other things which are not so yeah. yeah that is life that is the irony of life how we learn after some years right okay so but yeah which was your favorite subject during college during college uh, biology was my favorite subject but now i have developed interest in english <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay so you always had oh, so you had a science background yeah okay and what uh, why did you opt for it <clears throat> i don't know why I did you opt for I, science yeah. means i don't have exact reason but uh, no, i felt that yeah. uh, i should learn english and it's a very uh, essential dispensable thing to survive you can get uh, any job or you can do whatever you want from uh, i mean your own without doing any job no need to get a job oh i thought okay. so and uh, apart from that i have interest indispensable is the word okay indispensable means absolutely necessary okay so it's not dispensable it's indispensable means absolutely necessary okay right sorry my spelling mistake uh, a b l e anyway so yes it is important uh, after all uh, how you interact communicate convey your thoughts you know all that matters yes which were your other favorite subjects other psychology Ah wow you learned it I haven't but I'm planning to Mm I did an online course 2 years ago clinical okay. psychology that was interesting it was just for 8 weeks or something like that and uh, it was a live course not a recorded session based so it was okay. interesting to just get a few insights about how the brain works and so i after that i bought a few books and started reading i also i wish i would have learned more about it during my college days that's how it yeah, is yeah that's that uh, uh, regret still i have in my 11th and 12th standard i had psychology but during graduation uh, there was no subject uh, in my college i had changed my college oh, okay okay and uh, uh, now i'm planning to do something go back to it yeah if you're interested it is a very good topic yes Yeah. Because nowadays I am also reading about our brain and neuroplasticity and how we can change our thinking, all those things. So it's very interesting, yeah. right? And like uh, we've said, discussed before, YouTube. You have free resources everywhere, you know. So yeah. there are other platforms also, so where you get something at a very low price also. At least to get knowledge. Afterwards, if you want to enroll yourself in a good course, that is good, different. But to begin with, if you have free resources, go for it. right yes yes <clears throat> how important is the social aspect of university meaning which university you go to where you are is that all is all that also important because there are some reputable in universities in the world they are famous right so is it important to go to a good university or any is any university is fine If you want to do something special, definitely one should look for a good university. But uh, if somebody is doing graduation for the sake of degree, then then it does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Right. Do you believe in uh, this? Is I am diverting or digressing from the topic. But do you believe in uh, what are those boards called? Vision boards. Have you heard of vision boards? Yes, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> not always. 
<laughs> vision boards yes because i also i look it up on pinterest there is one site or an app called pinterest have you heard of it so on that i look for some vision boards and it's very interesting because they say when you visualize something something it will happen right so yes i wanted to know if you have a vision board for, of anything sometimes people have it, it works sometimes it doesn't because uh, i think uh, with vision board efforts are also necessary <laughs> yeah but you can just have a simple even a you know a rectangular piece of paper and you write that is also fine you don't have to actually go and go to the extent of taking prints coloring of course all that looks aesthetically beautiful yeah. but still you can even write it with a on a piece of paper but when you write it it's like more you know you're telling the universe like these are the things i want i want for myself and when we decide to do something i think 24 by 7 those things mm, run in background somewhere yes. in our mind you always correct correct yes okay now tell me does being highly educated mean that someone is a good person not at all <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you i am sure you have had some experiences <laughs> but yes can you please talk a bit more about this either way some good experience or some bad whichever you want whatever you want to share yes <laughs> our education officer she is a lady and she is behave in a such a weird manner when we talk her she won't respond her like we are invisible <laughs> she behave in <laughs> such a way okay and when person, we talk yeah. mm mm-hmm. and a person uh, who is uh, deputy director of education her boss and uh, he is the boss of i think six or seven district when we go to his office madam please come please sit would you like to take tea what's your problem okay okay i'll do it and in front of us he will call the regarding person or if we stuck with some work he will try to do it same day because we are traveling ah. 200 kilometers and this lady right. we we uh, travel 50 kilometers it's a near place but uh, she will throw that tantrum that us like we are nothing and she is or something and i i am very talkative so i told that <laughs> deputy director so that uh, education officer of uh, our district she behaves like this and uh, why <laughs> <laughs> right why yeah, there is a huge that... difference between both of you <laughs> right. i don't yes. i don't hesitate to tell anything Mm-hmm. right you're straight forward yes you're straight forward you're laughing <laughs> yes right yeah because there is a saying the hum, uh, the tree that is laden with fruits always bends you know that is a, one saying that i have also heard humble and it is person. yes a humble person right that happens in most offices and even in the corporate world like at the very top whoever are there they don't they're not arrogant they are not uh they don't have any airs about themselves like we are at this position in fact the ones at the lower a part of the ladder they are the ones who are unnecessarily showing off or you know boasting of things so it and is I just it just shows have, uh, i i yeah. always argue or uh, sometimes i fight with these people <laughs> <laughs> right so you missed one preposition when we talk with her okay not you just said when talk when When, when we, we talk, talk with her, her. with okay, was missing to. there. Okay, with her. You can talk to them also. Yeah, when we talk to them, that is also fine. But something is required there. Talk with, talk to yeah. both. So yeah, right. Okay, now let's come to one subtle uh, pronunciation thing which I noticed, and I thought let me share it with you. There's a difference between the sound of V and W. Do you know yes. that? W and W. Well, <laughs> right. So, but you, but all your, yeah. But try that if you want to improve your language. Yes, yes. Try that because you need practice with when, what, uh, uh, why, when we talk with her. It needs little effort, but try to do that. Whistle the W, like they say, bite the V, yeah. and whistle, uh, whistle the W. Right. So when we talk with her, so when we. try to say that it will come it will come automatically after a few days but instead of saying when we you know when we talk when with her it is different time. when yes so who was it when did you go there what did she say so 
try to round your lips and speak it out so of course you know it Definitely but that's why again try try it because it makes a lot of difference uh, in the yes. sound okay so when we talk with her it's like that so in fact this sentence is has three w's when we talk with her so there are three w's already when we talk with her <laughs> yes so <laughs> that w, w, w has to come always so practice this as a sentence right okay. yes okay so yes because wine would you like some wine is what it is not wine you don't it's like the, the difference between wine. the two things wine white it's white in color yeah it's white so these are all w's so practice some w's so that will help your sound yeah the phonetics right yes bite the v's yeah the teachers used to say in school bite your v's like very you know kiss your w's kiss yeah kiss your w's yes so kiss the w's yes yeah, but it is important yeah right meanwhile i mean before our session or during the day did you have any questions any doubts in your mind anything that you wanted to ask specifically please feel free to ask i'm enjoying learning <laughs> <laughs> all right yes and uh, you are planning to give ielts ielts are you planning to take the test or you have something on your mind uh first i'll go for b2 then c1 then i'll decide should i go to ielts <laughs> <laughs> okay all right yes 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 all right because b2 is what to be i think uh, ielts and uh, uh B two C one Cambridge exams are uh, quite alike um, because uh, I think uh, vocab, phrases, phrasal verbs in advanced spoken are similar. Just I think techniques are different. Oh, because IELTS does not have any word uh, like synonyms or meanings. It doesn't have anything like that. You just have to write one. essay write a letter it's like that or yeah. uh, you have to talk about a topic what they give you it's like that it's I've not seen about a lot of videos on youtube of ielts and uh, cambridge exam as well so i found okay. uh, similarities as well so i just thought if yeah. i learn ielts it will help to okay uh, Take, uh, yes. I'm not sure of the see of the Cambridge exams. I have to still look at all those because I have I have given IELTS myself Some and I teach IELTS. Are there, but yes. many similarities are there. I look it up. Yes, I also look it up. What is it about? Right. In my free time, I do do uh, watch uh, videos about IELTS as well and uh, Cambridge as well. Okay, right. And PTE. Have you heard of PTE? Pearson Test of English. That is another. Yeah, I've uh, heard, but I don't know much about it. that is 100% computer based so everything there is no person so what about cambridge exams do they have a live examiner or they it's computer based live. both both it's like okay both okay right okay because even for ielts only the speaking test has a person in front of you otherwise everything is either online or paper based you can even write with a pen and paper or a pencil yeah. and paper right yes Which so when was the last for what A pen and between, I like. I am comfortable with pen and paper. That's what I gave. I don't like the scrolling and. Uh, <laughs> yes, the newer generations want the test to be online, but I like the I like the physical paper in hand and the pen. Even while reading books, I like physical books instead of. Yeah, true. Yes, online. yes, yes. That is true. Right. That gives a different kind of a pleasure. Yes. What was the last exam you gave? You appeared for. I think my D L exam. Okay. Okay. So, what all subjects are there? What all uh, subjects are there in that? Uh, related to pedagogy, I think all subjects were there: English, science, math, social studies. and uh, physical education also was there i think everything oh okay right so the same weightage is given for all subjects uh yes uh yes okay as far as okay. i yeah know. i'm just curious i am also not much aware but yes okay right 
All right. Yeah, coming to coming back to the university topic. Anything that you want to add about uh, what is the difference between university life and school life? What do you think? A lot of difference. In school, we get the personal attention of teachers. In college life, they don't. If we do not attend any lecture, they won't ask us. In school, <laughs> we will get punishment. Yes. <laughs> complain our parents. <laughs> they will complain they too. Us. Again, yes, they will complain to our parents. Okay. I think I'm making frequent mistake with preposition too. Yes, yes, yes. It's uh, they just get they fall off. <laughs> yes, they fall <laughs> off. Right. So you need to be more alert. Yeah, they come. And why do you think they don't bother in college about our attendance or uh, if we are studying properly or not? I think, why is that? Uh, they consider us we are mature enough to understand what's right and wrong. And uh, apart from that, I think uh, they may think it may backfire. <laughs> why? Why? Because will it those are quite arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so eventually, yes, students are grown up by then. They are they're supposed to understand. <clears throat> if they don't understand, it's their loss. It's as simple as that. Even I feel the same, it's fine. If they're not listening, it means they know what they're doing. So that's, yes. yeah, that's that. Yeah, maybe they can be told once or suggested once or twice, but you can't make them uh, because it's, it's a suddenly, it's the freedom that you get, right? When you go from, pass out from your school days and move forward to college it's the and, freedom uh, right i think lecturers are more than happy if students are not coming to class <laughs> <laughs> possibly yeah because i also remember bunking a few few <laughs> lectures and it was because it's suddenly like oh my parents don't know it's okay if i bunk a few lectures and then it's just the thrill of it right yes okay. yes so my nice. interesting Yes, that's true. Uh, did you have a favorite professor or a lecturer and what did you like about them? My favorite teachers were in school only. In my college, nobody was my favorite. Because okay. in our college, uh, our lecturers would fight among themselves. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you mean the uh, like uh, politics? There was a lot of politics being played that yes, way. The envy was going on during our college days, and we had to suffer a lot. Oh my God! Okay, so yes, during school days. So you tell me something about your favorite teacher. Yeah, uh, I think two, three teachers were favorite. Whenever we need, they would guide us, and if we ask something. Uh, they were not like uh, you didn't understand how many times I'm telling you. They would, after class or after school, please come to staff room. I'll make you explain. Yes, they took, the they took the effort. They took the effort. Yes, yes, they took a lot of efforts. And if we make mistake, uh, they would make us understand. Or when we were right or we were taking more efforts, they would motivate us. So it was uh, very good for uh, in favor of uh, no for our uh, future like we, we get yes. good grades in those subjects yes and we develop so interest as well correct yes it proved quite beneficial it proved to be quite beneficial beneficial in right. yes Right, because uh, unknowingly, even at that time, you sometimes we hate our teachers during school. You know, it happens like, my God, she's so strict. But as we grow up and we're out of school, we still remember them because they taught us good things, right? It's like that. At that moment, we might have thought otherwise, but it's not like that. That is the that I also feel like that. I, there were a couple of teachers I used to feel like, oh my God, why does she? Why is she so strict? Why is she always telling us to do this and not do that? But today I don't mind. I mean, I like that. Those were days, right? They were teaching us. It was their way of teaching us. Yeah. Right. Yes. So patience is. Uh, I think patience is the biggest virtue that is required there when you are in that uh, atmosphere, right? To teach patience. Yes. Everything above everything, even 
everything else comes later but without patience you can't survive yes absolutely right what are the qualities you think are required to become a good teacher first thing patience then caring nature for the hmm. personal concern uh, with the students uh, then uh, a teacher should be equipped with skills how to handle different kind of students because below average average sharp students yes. lot of things are there and there are different students types of should students. not be biased so mm -hmm. these qualities are required skill is i think most important skill to handle the student teaching skill so many things right yes so when i ask you something like this say i think i believe anything on those lines you know you just started with patience so it's fine sometimes that is also fine but i think patience is the biggest virtue followed by so and so so i think or i believe i guess everything is fine but it gives you more uh, conviction power that yes this this is your opinion okay so believe or i watch those I guess, video i watch your videos again means i'm trying to grab those sentences you are teaching me i'm trying to absorb <laughs> <laughs> oh okay <laughs> sure sure so yes i think or i think patience is the biggest virtue that is required or patience is the biggest factor that is important there contributing factor so try so i i guess is also not bad many times it can it it fits okay yes you want a screenshot or we can end the session and we will meet again oh it's your fa farewell session in the next so let's meet in 3 minutes yeah thank you all right Fine, I'll see you.